water industries in general, in conjunction with universities, have been looking for some time a transient surge in water networks. Causes for these surges have been attributed to a variety of activities, such as valve operation, hydrant operation, pump starts and stops. These surges have been very difficult to capture until recently, but developments in technology have allowed purpose-built training facilities to be made available at water companies. These facilities have enabled staff to be taught new techniques to minimise the effect of surge caused by their actions. What I wish to do now is to share some of that learning with yourselves as we are aware that there are other people that operate the network, such as fire service and licensed standpipe users. Before we look at the training, here are a few amateur clips of burst mains. As you will see, they can be quite dramatic. What isn't evident is the effect this has on water quality, where widespread discoloration can be caused throughout the network. Here we have an incorrect way of how to operate an hydrant, perhaps how you would currently operate one. Note the spike on the screen which is capturing the surge effect. Potentially, most damage is caused when closing a hydrant too quickly. Notice the ripple effect which means the surge is not just a single action but an ongoing factor until the system settles down. The only way to eliminate this risk is to operate slowly as shown in this clip. Notice the calm effect this has on the screen. What you have seen so far are operations in a controlled environment. However, we shall demonstrate the effects in more realistic conditions. Here we see a traditional method of wet testing. You will see the surge effect is captured by simply putting a gauge on the system. The movement of the needle back and forth mimics what you previously saw on the CALM Network's rig. It is worth noting that in an emergency situation, operating hydrants too quickly could cause bursts and potentially restrict your availability to extract the amount of water you need. Adopting the new CAM Network's technique, by operating slowly, you will reduce the risk of burst mains and discoloration on the system. Thank you for taking time to watch this video, and I believe that adopting the techniques as shown will be beneficial to us all.